Hello everybody. So we are in exercise 20B. I hope you people are enjoying doing sums. Okay. Exercise 20B. And once again we are dealing with mensuration. And once again let me remind you that we are in area. Means area of a rectangle, area of a square, area of a circle. Okay. And we had already dealt area of a rectangle in our previous few sums. Okay. Now let's start from number 6. I'm going to start from number 6. Okay. Where they are talking about the area of a square. Area of a square. And you will know that a square is a rectangle. Once again, let me say a square is a rectangle whose all sides are equal. A square is a rectangle. So sometimes you can say a square a, say a square is a rectangle, but not a rectangle is a square. So area of a square that we had I had already given you the formula. Area is equal to length into breadth. Here my side is, is equal to a side is equal to a. So area of a rectangle is equal to a into a. That is length into breadth. Here we do, do not have length and breadth. So a into a is equal to a square or area of a square is equal to area of a square is equal to sine square means side multiplied by side isn't it sine multiplied by side so let us see what they are talking about now do you remember the perimeter of a square of course i hope you people remember the perimeter of a square which is equal to what and what is the perimeter perimeter means the sum of all the sides let me actually draw the square okay so here the perimeter is equal to 4 into side, 4 into side, 4a, 4 into side because a plus a plus a plus a will give you 4a. Now find the area of a square whose perimeter is given. What are the what is given to you first? They have given you the, the perimeter. They have given you number 6. They have given you the perimeter. The perimeter of a square, perimeter of square is equal to 56 centimeter. Now, what is the perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side. 4 multiplied by side. Let me write it beautifully. Oh, 4a is equal to 56. Now, what is side? So, a will be equal to how much? 56 divided by 4. So, 56 divided by 4 naturally will give you 14. Okay? a as a equal to 14 centimeter. Good. Did what had they asked you? Find the area. When you look at the question, they say, find the area. Find area. Area. So, find area and we know that area is equal to, area is equal to my A square. Means side square. Area is equal to side square. Side is already is equal to 14 centimeter whole square. So, 14 centimeter square is equal to 14 into 14. 14 centimeter into 14 centimeter will give you how much? 196 centimeter square. 196 centimeter square. Remember once again that whenever we deal with area, it should be in square unit. Clear? Let's come to the other sums. A square lawn. Okay, you understand the meaning of L A W N lawn. So a square lawn is surrounded by a path 2.5 meter wide. Great. Surrounded by. So, let, him, let me see. Let me first make a square. This is my square lawn. This is my square lawn. And they say that it is surrounded by a path 2.5 meter wide. Clear? So, this is my path which surrounds the lawn. Okay? Which surrounds the lawn. And the path is 2.5 meter wide. Means this is this particular length is my 2.5 meter wide very good if the area of the path is 165 meter square this means they say that the area of this particular path the area of this particular path is 165 meter square fine let me see okay let us see that they have given you that area of path is equal to 165 meter square. Great. Now, do you know the length of length of this one? Do you know the length of this one? Do you know the length of this one? 
So you would say no, I do not know. I just know the length of this particular part. So let me take the area of, let me take the side of a square as x. So let the side of a square, let, let side of a square, side of square is equal to x meter. Very good. So naturally, if the side of a square is equal to x meter, so side of bigger square, bigger square will be equal to your, how much? The square of bigger square will be equal to x plus 5, x plus 5 whole square. How? Let me see. This one, if this is my x so, if this is my x, so naturally, this is my 2.5 and 2.5. So, the whole will be x plus 5. 2.5 plus 2.5 is equal to 5. So, side of the bigger square will be equal to side square, that is x plus 5 whole square. Isn't it? Okay, come on. Now, they have given us the area of the path. And the area of the path, area of path is equal to bigger square area of the bigger square minus area of the smaller square means bigger bigger square minus smaller square okay i think this is not up to your level but still you learn it okay still you know it square so bigger square will be equal to x plus 5 whole square and my smaller square is equal to how much x square have a look side of smaller square is x meter and side of bigger square is equal to x plus 5 x plus 5 meter so naturally area of the area of the path equal to bigger square which is x plus 5 whole square minus x square now when you break this one x plus 5 whole square okay so when you break this one naturally you will get a value how much x square plus 10x plus 25 25 and here you have already x square so which is equal to which is equal to your 165 so let us see this x square and x square gets cancelled 10x plus 25 is equal to 165 10x plus 25 is equal to 165 let us see 10x 10x plus 10x plus 25 is equal to 165 after cancellation of x. So 10x is equal to how much? When you subtract, you will get 140. x will be equal to 14. x will be equal to 14 meter. Clear? This is the side of the square. This is my side of the square. And what will be the area? Area of square so area of the square will be equal to 14 times 14 is equal to 196 meter square clear now many of you might be confused that x plus 5 x plus 5 whole square was written as x square plus 10 x plus 5 how so let us multiply let us multiply you let us multiply x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 5. So how are we going to multiply this one my dear? x into x is equal to x square. x into 5 is equal to 5x. Now we shall repeat the same thing with 5. 5 into x, 5 into x will be equal to 5x and 5 into 5 will be equal to 25. Now see x square plus 5x plus 5x is equal to 10x plus 25. I hope the doubt which was over here got clarified. Come to the other one that is number 8. In number 8 there are many sums, okay, uh, many sums which are quite easier because right now you have, you know that if a particular uh, rectangle is given and in a particular rectangle, if a square is given over here, a square is given and they ask you that find the area of this particular shaded region, shaded region. How can you find out? 
तो नेचुरली यू कैन फाइंड आउट बाई फाइंडिंग द एरिया ऑफ द होल रेक्टेंगल माइनस एरिया ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्क्वायर एंड यू नो द एरिया ऑफ ए रेक्टेंगल एज योर लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ एंड एरिया ऑफ स्क्वायर इज योर ए इन टू ए ए इन टू ए दैट इज साइड इन टू साइड सो यू कैन डू इट अमंग ऑल दीज एट आई फाइंड दैट नंबर फाइव शुड बी सॉल्व शुड बी डन बाई मी वाई बिकॉज इट टॉक्स अबाउट हैव एन लुक इट टॉक्स अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर फिगर ओके दिस पर्टिकुलर फिगर इन विच सो स्वीट ऑफ दिस गर्ल सो दे टॉक अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर फिगर इन विच द साइड्स आर गिवेन एज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर ऑल द मेजरमेंट्स आर इन ट्वेंटी आर इन सेंटीमीटर ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर दिस इज माई एट सेंटीमीटर दिस इज माई दिस इज माई हाउ मच एटीन सेंटीमीटर दिस इज माई एटीन सेंटीमीटर दिस इज माई ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर ओके ना इन ऑर टू फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ द एंटायर फिगर आई नीड टू डिवाइड द एरिया सच दैट आई गेट थ्री स्मॉल रेक्टेंगल्स सो लेट एस टॉक अबाउट रेक्टेंगल ए रेक्टेंगल बी एंड रेक्टेंगल सी क्लियर नॉट ओनली दिस वी हैव ऑल्सो टू फाइंड आउट द डायमेंशंस ना इफ दिस इज अ रेक्टेंगल इफ दिस इज इज अ पार्टिक दिस इज अ रेक्टेंगल ओके दिस इज अ रेक्टेंगल तो देन द एरिया ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल विल बी एल इन टू बी लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ डू यू नीड नो दी ब्रेथ लेट मी सी सो द होल द एंटायर दिस इज ट्वेल्व दिस इज ट्वेल्व ओके ग्रेट this is 12 now from here to here you have 8 this is also fine okay they have given you 2 my dear sorry so why are, am i getting confused so i can find out area of a as 18 times 2 18 to the 36 cm square good area of area of c let me find area of c so area of c will be equal to how much this is my 12 from here to here is 8 this is 2 so this is also 2 clear 8 plus 2 10 the entire is 12 so this portion particular this portion will be how much this particular portion will be 2 only so let me write 2 over here so that you do not get confused clear now area of c will be equal to 12 into 2 is equal to 24 cm square good now area of b area of b will be equal to how much length into breadth so my length is 12 and my breadth this portion have a look from here to here is 20 from here to this particular point is 18 to so naturally this 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 particular portion will be 2 this thickness will be 2 only therefore area of breadth b will be equal to 12 to z 24 cm square now when you add these all three area area of a area of b and area of c naturally you will get area of figure will be equal to 36 plus 24 plus 24 will be equal to how much 4 plus 4 10 14 3 4 5 6 7 84 cm square will be your area eh hmm? i hope this was clear now let us come to a parallelogram do we have more time let me see do we have some more time so area of a parallelogram parallelogram once again let me repeat the word parallelogram when you talk about a rectangle this is also a parallelogram why because its opposite sides are parallel this side is parallel to this and this particular side is parallel to this clear now if this side is parallel to this and this is parallel to this it becomes a parallelogram so what do you think about a square do you think that a square is a parallelogram yes a square is also a parallelogram because the opposite sides are parallel because the opposite sides are parallel not only parallel the opposite sides are equal also now whenever you are told to find now the area of a parallelogram so first let me talk about a rectangle and a parallelogram now if this is a rectangle 
this is a rectangle this is your rectangle okay what I am going to do I am going, going to cut this small portion and I am going to cut this small portion let me cut this small portion and I am going to paste it over here let me paste it over here okay paste it over here so I have I have cut this particular portion and I have pasted it over here and I got particular figure this means the area of that particular rectangle we was same as area of the parallelogram but here here you have the length but the, you do not have the breadth because breadth should be perpendicular so that is why we take the breadth as the height of the height of the parallelogram now so the area of the parallelogram will be equal to area of have a look how, how I write this is my parallel and I write gm area of parallelogram is equal to my base into height base into height clear this length is written as base this length is written as base and this is written as height ht okay base and height so area of a parallel parallelogram is equal to your base into height because even this can also be your base this can also be your base if this is your base naturally your naturally your height will be this one your height will be this one so base can be anyone this or this so once again let me clean it up that if this is a parallelogram if this is my base and if this is my height so the area oh and if this is my if this is the height of the parallelogram so I would say that area is equal to base into height not only that they can also give you that if if the distance between the parallel side the distance between the parallel side is equal to h then you can also write that area is equal to base into height clear so for the sums on parallelogram and rhombus stay tuned thank you